Zach, give me a call when you get a chance. All right. Later. landing in Hong Kong, next stop, Tokyo. I think I just had the best 7-Eleven experience of my life. Your boys in Tokyo just finished up at New Balance. Stop number one of who knows how many we have to do here in Tokyo, but stop number one at this four floor New Balance, probably the greatest New Balance location in the world. I'm not even bluffing when I say that, it was just unreal in there, I can't wait to post that episode. But just got finished over there. We're gonna be going down this street right here. I got a bunch to do like Atmo, Sneaker Alley, and a bunch of other spots to do here in Shibuya. But yeah, man, checking in here in Tokyo, Japan. It's been a movie and haven't even been here for a full 24 hours yet. Got a bunch to do, can't wait to show y'all. Let's go.
Day two here in Tokyo right now. Definitely broke some records yesterday when it came to what we were recording. We had 11 episodes of Wake Up done and 16 episodes of the Pulling Up series. I'm sure y'all could see a bunch from the B-roll that I showed y'all. 27 total episodes in both the series combined yesterday. And that was just in day one of Tokyo. We're here in day two now. We're gonna be starting at this A6 location. So let's get started. This is the only revenge storm location in the entire world. There's only one, and it's this one. We just filmed it for the pulling up series. Stay tuned for that one. Bananas. Currently at Lacoste right now. Once again, every like retail of any type of brand that I go to, it's like the best location I've ever been to, hands down. Um, from Lacoste to the New Balance location to A6 today, like every major retailer, every storefront they have here in Tokyo, it's crazy. Also, got some at the cafe here at Lacoste. I have no idea what kind of latte this is. It's got like real honeycomb in it, smacks, but stop number six today for day two. I got a bunch just on the street that we're on right now. Gonna keep it going though, let's get it. Day two finished, 32 stops done in two days. Currently right now on my way to Supreme. Hopefully there's not a line, so that's why I'm going early. But two days, 32 stops of pulling up already finished. It's great, man. It's been uh, an overflow of episodes of pulling up. And I can't be any more grateful for just being here in Tokyo. So I can't wait to show y'all all these episodes when we get to start posting them on the Instagram, YouTube, and on the TikTok, of course. But stay tuned for that. And let's get back into shooting some more clips pulling up. Hands down, probably the coolest vintage spot I've ever been to in my entire life. Easily. vintage warehouse right now i had to mute this part of the vlog really quick because of copyright they had music playing in there this entire time i was speaking so basically i'm just telling you guys about all the incredible vintage pieces that they have there from platinum fubu to academics to old school fila rock aware echo and a bunch of other crazy pieces they have but basically telling y'all to stay tuned for the pulling up episode of this spot and yeah just some crazy pieces there man huge shout out to crows by the way I hope y'all are hearing this, the sounds that I'm hearing right now. I'm in Tokyo World of Flight. This is the craziest way to walk into a store ever. I feel like I'm about to walk into, like, I feel like it's game day right now. I'm about to walk onto the court. This is crazy. Hold up. Day five, and I've recorded 74 episodes of the Pulling Up series. I think it's safe to say Tokyo's got a few stores. Wrapping up this vlog really quick. Shout out City Board Kings, by the way, the homie Cuddy. Um, yeah, wrapping up this vlog. Day five, 74 stops. Pulled up to and recorded for the Pulling Up series. Um, this week's vlog was really to show you the point of view of what it's like in my point of view, pulling up to all these spots and seeing a bunch of things that I I've been seeing these past five days. Next week's vlog is gonna be more of seeing a bunch of 
Tokyo exclusives, anything really in Japan that you will only see in Japan when it comes to sneaker streetwear and anything fashion related. Uh, trying to get a bunch of more exclusive things that you'll see here in next week's vlog. But yeah, it's been uh, been pretty eventful first five days here in Tokyo. And this vlog has been pretty eventful as you can see with all the B-roll and all the things that I've shown you already in this video. But I just want to give a huge shout out to all of you. The fact that I'm even in Japan isn't possible without the people. So thank you all for everything. Seriously, all the support, all the love you guys show on all platforms. Thank you. I'm going to wrap this up now. I'm going to go to bed. Got a bunch more to pull up to and a bunch much more to get done here in Tokyo. So with that being said, I appreciate each and every single one of you for tuning into this week's episode of A Sneaker Head with a Dream. I love you guys and God bless everybody.